Before Victoria begins training, she'll spend a day observing the couple and Mr. Black. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hey, I'm fine. Hello. Hey. Puppy, come back in here. Oh. Oh, dear. Come okay. back in here. Was he? Hello. I'm Latoya. Oh, okay. Mr. Hi. Black, get here. Oh, oh, Mr. I'm Black. Mr. Black, come Mr. Black. back. Mr. Black, Mr. Black. Latoya had to chase after Mr. Black and get him to come back into the apartment. I mean, thank goodness they are living in an apartment and not right on a road. Okay, okay, okay. Mr. Black, yes, he... I was definitely happy that Victoria saw the way Mr. Black acts when anyone comes to the door so she can see firsthand the type of behavior he exhibits and just fix it. Back at the house. Damien's friend Monte stops by for a visit. So, sir. Hey. How hey. Mr. Oh. Black, calm down now. There you go. And gets a very excited welcome. Hey. Oh, right, there right. you maybe, go. Maybe. Mr. Black gets really excited when new people come into to his place. And Mr. Black has a problem of mouthing people when they come through the door. All your friends get greeted like this? Yeah, that's a typical response of the jumping on them. How do you play with him? I typically play with him pretty rough. He likes to play tug of war. And since he has so much energy, like playing with him rough is the easiest way to kind of tire him out. Here to you. Oh, that was it. That was, yeah. <laughs> If they play so roughly with Mr. Black, they're actually teaching him to use his mouth roughly. Victoria got to see a small taste of how rough he gets sometimes when we play. It gets frustrating sometimes because he bites accidentally. You get extremely upset because it hurts. All that I've heard since I've been here is Mr. Black does this, Mr. Black does that, and the blame is on him. And now do you see that the blame really lies with you? Yeah. Yeah. So that's where we gotta we gotta start from that point. From what you can do, because you are gonna have to work hard, believe me. It's gonna take a massive effort to get this dog back on track. Okay, so you ready? Yes. Right now. <laughs> right right now. Now. Good. <laughs> Victoria is going to jumpstart Mr. Black's training with a course in obedience 101. I want to build up some new behaviors in him. Now, the more a dog is rewarded for a behavior, the more the behavior is going to occur. Sit. Good boy. Latoya and Damien have already taught Mr. Black to sit and lay down. Down. Now, Victoria adds two new commands. Hup. Good boy. Mr. Black is a smart dog, and he learned very, very quickly. He needs that mental stimulation so badly. Stand, good boy. The more mental stimulation you give a dog, the less badly behaved it will be, the tireder it'll be. A tired dog is a happy dog. What we're learning is called puppy push-ups. It's a whole little sequence. Sit, down, up, stand. Watch my hand signals. Good. Good boy. Stand. Very good. The whole idea about pu puppy push-ups, good exercise, dogs focusing on you, and just gives a kind of nice little related chain of behaviors okay. so that the dog is finally working for you. Mm -hmm. Stay. Latoya and Damien have also taught Mr. Black the stay command. Stay. But they've only been successful at getting him to stay for a couple of seconds. Stay. I wanted just to use the stay command and see if I could open the door with him just staying in one place. And I did it. And I actually have to say I was amazed that he did stay in one place. He was responding so well to that command. I was just, ex I was ecstatic. Very good. Good boy. It's Latoya's turn to practice the puppy push-ups. But first, a very necessary lesson on jumping. Notice, each time he jumps up at me, he doesn't get anything, OK? Now, what you're doing when he jumps up is your A, sometimes you reinforce it, give him a little cuddle and a little mm, -mm. <laughs> Or other times when you're telling him to get off, say, get down. And that's just going to make him jump even more, because these are chew toys. Yay, whoa! Yeah. See? The jumping is completely ignored. And in fact, he gets your back and not your front. <laughs> 
LaToya takes over the training using the hand signals, verbal commands, up, and the reward. Good. I reward him. Good boy. He never, ever listens to LaToya, so it was good to see her finally get some sort of a command and control over him. Doesn't matter. He still stood. I don't care. I felt like we really were bonding, like he really was understanding me. Down. Good. I really like the way LaToya trained. She was in the zone. Her voice was calm. Her focus was direct. Her hand signals were clear. Her body language was strong and confident. I don't think she even realized it. But she's a natural trainer. You're now starting to give him a good canine education. OK. Now she wants to focus on playtime. The way that Latoya and Damien play with Mr. Black, I think, is verging on the point of dangerous. Oh, that was it. That was, yeah. He's very mouthy. He doesn't really understand bite strength. So I think we have to give Tug a rest and do more appropriate interactive play. When you're really roughhousing with him and you're kind of pushing him away and you know you're like, and, and it, these just become chew toys. Not being able to horse play with Mr. Black and bond with him the way I, I'm used to bonding with him is going to be a little bit difficult for me. From now on, mouthing stops play, communication, attention, everything. OK. Instead of roughhousing, Victoria has a new way to play with Mr. Black. So these are some great interactive toys. And what it does is it stimulates the dog mentally. This is just to give him some good mental stimulation. You're interacting with him, you're playing with him, but you're not causing him to get overexcited and to go nuts and to bite you. OK. Gets a dog to work for their food. Rather than just have it in a bowl, work. OK. I'm going to put some treats in this hole here. Put it down on the ground and let him get the treats. His guarding issues could come out here with this, so that's something you do have to be aware of. I first of all made it easy for Mr. Black to find the treats, and then I began to hide them in different spots where Mr. Black had to either push something with his nose or with his paw. He's using his scenting abilities, which is very important. That's stimulating his brain. Good boy, getting it. Here is the confessional cam. And you can document any of your thoughts. And if you want to do a bit of secret filming, when you think the toy is not looking, I give you permission. There you go, Damien. Cool. So I will see you soon. OK. Best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, bye. 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 <sighs> Got a lot of work to do. Yeah, you better not be letting them jump on you. You better, better not try to tell to You better not <laughs> tell me either, OK? After some physical exercise, it's time for mental stimulation. First with interactive toys, then obedience training. Up. Stand. Jump. It looks like neither LaToya or Damien are following directions very well. Jump, Mr. Black. <laughs> I don't have any objective in particular with the jumping. I just think it would be something cool to show off to my friends. Are you kidding me? Why are you getting Mr. Black to jump when that is the very one thing we're trying to stop? And soon enough, LaToya is right back to her old habits. I picked up the camera today just to get an example. She still was doing things like playing the tug of war with the rope with Mr. Black, like Victoria told us specifically not to do. And I told LaToya, but she didn't care. She wanted to keep going. What did I tell you? Do not rough play with him. <laughs> I know my dog, and I know how we play and how we love each other, and that's a big thing for me. I don't think that I'm going to really stop. Oh my gosh, Latoy, what are you doing? Victoria has been doing this for a long time. I feel I know Mr. Black better than Victoria, though. I really need to get back to Latoya and Damon to straighten a few things yeah. out. Latoya may have ignored Victoria's advice, but Damien's not off the hook either. What's this? Standing up and getting him to jump up. Jump, Mr. Black. <laughs> that was Damien. <laughs> you suggested, but then you did it. You can't have two rules. Either Mr. Black is allowed to jump or he's not. Mr. Black is also getting mixed messages when it comes to playtime with LaToya. You're having a good wrestle with your dog, playing tug. I think they're fantastic games. But for now, not with this dog. 
you, you get the dog calm, you get the dog listening to you, and then gradually introduce tug under your rules back into the game. But you're encouraging him to be rough with people. If he can be rough with you, he can be rough with any of your guests. But then what's the point of having a dog if you can't, like, cuddle with him and play with oh, him? Oh, look, I'm not saying you can't cuddle with him. You can walk him, you can pet him, you can love him, you can train him. I'm just saying, <clears throat> not at the moment. Okay. I think Latoya definitely got the message, but it's still going to be up to me to watch her to make sure she's following through with everything. Because the couple have been sending mixed messages about Mr. Black's jumping, Victoria wants to readdress his greeting behavior with a little help from Damien's friend, Monte. Hey. All right. Shut the door. Don't release him yet. Say hello. <laughs> OK. If he jumps on you, turn around. There you go. Turn around. Ah, ah. Give me the leash. I added a leash into the whole mix because I thought it was important to be able to remove Mr. Black if he jumped up on the person or mouthed or bit at their clothes. Ah! Immediately take him out. Wait for a couple of seconds. Bring him back into the room. Ah! I think the hardest thing will be me and Latoya being patient enough to actually go through the process. After just a few attempts, Victoria's patience pays off. Good. Keep training, keep working at it, keep expanding this dog's mind, giving this dog good things to do so that he doesn't revert back to his negative behavior, okay? This whole experience has been great. Mr. Black has come such a long way. I just have to keep reminding myself that it's not about me, it's about Mr. Black, and I know that's going to be difficult. Stop. Mr. Black still has a little bit of anxiety when friends come over, but he's a lot better than he used to be. He doesn't jump all over them while they're sitting on our couch. Good, Mr. Black. Hi, baby. Good boy. Even though I'm not playing with Mr. Black so rough, I do feel closer to him. He's loving me and I'm loving him and we're all having a good time. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.